Hey guys, I hope you're having an awesome holiday week. I'm super excited for today's video because I partnered up with Ulta Beauty to share this metallic glittery eye makeup look with you. This is something you can obviously wear to a Christmas party or New Year's Eve, even a girls night out or anywhere fun that you want a very glittery, fun, shiny, sparkly look. So if you want to see how I did this, stick around and you can watch my step-by-step -step tutorial. First, I'm gonna clip my hair back with my favorite Conair Clips. You guys see me using that on Snapchat all the time. <laughs> and I'm gonna prime my eyes with Urban Decay's Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Minor Sin. I'm just gonna pat it in with my fingers. Next, I'm just gonna set it with a translucent powder. I'm using Too Faced Primed and Poreless Press Powder for this. This just makes it a lot easier for all the eyeshadows to blend in. Now I'm going to just curl my eyelashes. I'm using Tarte's Picture Perfect Eyelash Curler. This is a special holidays version which is sold out, but their normal version is amazing. I love how the handle has this ergonomic shape that's very comfortable to hold and use. Next I'm going to use an eyeshadow palette from Tarte's Greatest Glitz Collector Set and Portable Palette. This item is one of the last few items from their holidays collection that isn't sold out, which is pretty awesome. So first I'm going to go in with the shade Cookie Swap as my first transition color. I'm going to concentrate this in the crease area, but really blend it out all over. Now I'm going to use Chestnuts Roasting to deepen up that crease a bit. Now to add in a little more color, we're going in with Vial Let It Go, which is a really beautiful plummy purple shade. Now to add even more depth, I'm going in with Dipped in Chocolate, which is the darkest shade in this palette. It's a very dark, cool tone brown. And I'm just using a defined crease brush and really applying this to my upper crease area. Next, I'm using Urban Decay's Moon Dust Eyeshadow in Space Cowboy, which is a gorgeous, light, very sheer champagne shade, and it has a lot of glitter in it. So that's why I'm using this first before I apply my foundation, because I know there's going to be fallout with the glitter, but it's such a pretty shade that'll look great with this look. Now since that Space Cowboy shade was such a sheer champagne, I'm going in with Urban Decay's Polyester Bride with a much stronger white snow shimmer shade. It has a similar silver glitter in it. To clean up all that fallout, I'm using Simple's Kind to Eyes Eye Makeup Remover Pads. These pads aren't strong enough to remove my eye makeup that I wear normally, but it's great for cleaning up fallout. Now to prime my skin, I'm using my favorite Lumine Bright Now Blur Line and Pore Minimizer. I'm applying this all over my face. I like to blend it everywhere and then pat it in to make sure it's filling in all my fine lines. Now I'm using Tarte's Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in Light Medium Sand. This is only my second time using this concealer, but I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm applying this just to cover up any blemishes, hyperpigmentation, the redness around my nose, and of course my dark circles that have been getting, I feel like they're getting darker every day. <laughs> With my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, I'm going to apply L'Oreal Infallible's Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 104 Golden Beige. I've been breaking out a lot lately, so I wanted to use a matte foundation so that they don't my, any bumps and blemishes don't stand out. Next, I'm going to apply Becca's Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I love this product. It's a cream corrector with a really unique pink undertone that is amazing at hiding dark circles and it also adds this amazing glow from within that kind of shines through underneath your concealer. You can't tell it's there but you can't tell it's there if that makes sense. <laughs> and I'm just gonna lightly blend it out with my Real Techniques complexion sponge. Now I'm going to highlight with Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Light. I apply this between my eyebrows, down at the center of my nose, my cupid's bow, the center of my chin, as well as, of course, the triangles underneath my eyes. Now using my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, again, I'm going to bake underneath my eyes. I've done a tutorial on this on my blog before, but it's something that I do every time I do my makeup. I get really bad creases underneath my eyes, so it's just a necessity for me and it works perfectly. Now with a fluffy all over face brush, I'm just going to set all my makeup. And now as we're baking, we're going to move on to the eyebrows. I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Dark Brown. 
I'm just gonna clean up my brows a bit with a small little cotton swab before I really sharpen it up with concealer. I'm using the same concealer with a slanted brush, applying it underneath my eyebrows, and then I'm gonna go in with an old fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend it out. This really brightens up the brow bone as well as it helps to hide any stray brow hairs that you might have. I haven't done my brows in a while, so I definitely have quite a few stray hairs to hide and it's super effective. Now I'm gonna brush away the powder I was baking with underneath my eyes. And I'm going to bronze my skin with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. I use it every single day. Next, I'm going to contour my face with Too Faced Cocoa Contour Chisel to Perfection palette. And I'm using Tarte's new Tardis Sculpt and Slim Contour Brush, which has become my favorite contour brush. It's so fluffy and soft and it feels really good on your skin. I'm also gonna contour my nose a little bit because I always do. Just drawing a straight line down each side and then I'm going to also add a little shadow underneath on the tip of my nose. I'm using another Tarte Holidays item that is sold out. This is their blush palette, but the shade I'm using is not sold out. It's sold individually. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush in the shade Doll Face. I'm applying it to the apples of my cheeks and blending it upwards. Next, I'm going to line my waterline with It Cosmetics No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner in the shade Black. I love this eyeliner because it does not smudge on me. I normally get raccoon eyes and this one just stays put. I normally don't even have to blend it out or set it with a powder, but I'm just gonna blend out the bottom waterline because I do wanna smoke it out a bit with the same eyeshadow shades that I used on top. So I'm just smoking it out with that dipped in chocolate, that really dark cool tone brown. And then I'm going in and blending it a little further with Vile Let It Go, that dark plummy purple. Now it's time for eyeliner. I'm using Tarte's Tardis Clay Paint Liner. I love the brush that it comes with. It's one of those angled, super sharp eyeliner brushes. And this eyeliner itself is such a great formula. It goes on very smooth, and I love that it dries a matte black and it doesn't budge on me. It stays on all day. I wanted to enhance the glittery look even further, so I'm using Urban Decay's Heavy Metal Glitter Eyeliner. This is the color Glam Rock. It's a really cool, chunky, silver glitter eyeliner, but you can also use it on your lid, which I'm doing on top. So I'm just adding it to the inner corners of my eye on the bottom and on top. Now I'm going to coat my lashes with Tarte's Light Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I'm gonna put on falsies after this, so I'm not being too picky about my mascara application, um, except for the bottom. I do wanna make sure to coat all the lashes on the bottom. Now I'm putting on these Vegas Nay Easy Elegance Lashes. I love these lashes. They're so beautiful, but they're not overly dramatic, so you can still see your pretty eyeshadow underneath it. I'm going to highlight with Becca's Afterglow Palette. I'm using the shade Moonstone. I'm going to apply it to my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, the center of my chin, and I'm using a detail brush to apply it to my cupid's bow, the inner corner, and my brow bone. I noticed that my eyeshadow wasn't completely blended out after we added the concealer around my brow bone, so I'm taking my same fluffy blending brush and just blending out any harsh lines. Now I'm just going to set my brows with my Ico Brow Gel. This brow gel has kind of been struggling with holding my brow hairs in place, but I'm just trying to use it up because it's almost finished. Now I'm going in with Tarte's new lip crayon and lip paint combo. I'm using the Thirsty Lip Crayon and I'm using the Bay Lip Paint. These gorgeous lip paints dry to a matte finish and I've been completely obsessed with almost every shade in that collection. And we're all done. I'm just gonna set my makeup with Urban Decay's All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this is the final look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what you wanna see next. And of course, make sure you subscribe so you can catch my next video. Have a great one, you guys. Bye.